Money, let's go. Fame, next. Make it rain, it's just be like a, yeah. <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> yeah, that's it, okay, so if you're trying to open a YouTube channel to be famous and just upload some videos and make a lot of money out of it, like just completely forget it. It takes a lot of time, it's challenging, and you need to find some specific ways to appeal to your audience, especially if you upload a video and just put it there it's gonna go in this gigantic dumpster fire that it's YouTube. They upload like millions of videos per week and it's, it's really hard to be visible and find your own audience. So uh, go on, it's just, the next one is the poop emoji because it's, it's the best. So we're gonna see during this presentation how I did it and uh, all the things that you can do to make it happen for you and we're gonna do it also during the breakout session. So, uh, a bunch of things about me that are related to my YouTube channel. First, I'm Italian, so I apologize for my excessive body hair, my <laughs> gestures, and my weird accent. I'm gonna say a lot of wrong words and wrong, like my grammar is garbage, so sorry about that. Um, next one, I'm the lead developer at Ritual Music, so I'm a huge nerd, I code every day. Uh, if you wanna check Ritual Music, it's fantastic. We do an uh, e commerce, we offer um, royalty free music for podcasters and Instagram stories. We have also some cool stuff, move on. Uh, I have failed in many, 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 many careers, like a lot, and then I tried to do it on YouTube and I failed also there like many, many times. Next one, I'm the king of inconsistency. Like I get bored so easily after a week or two doing the same things. I don't like doing the same things over and over again and just like drop stuff I left behind my back, like so many failures and stuff. So move on. On a positive thing. So I started with YouTube in 2010 and I opened my channel and I said like I'm I had a lot of careers. These are all the careers that I tried and I failed. And I said, okay, I'm gonna open a YouTube channel, I'm gonna try I'm gonna do video about everything that I know. It's gonna be awesome. Everyone's gonna love me because I know a lot of stuff. Not true, nothing happened. I also tried to open a YouTube channel about martial arts, which was like super fucking silly, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is an, uh, an excerpt from the analytics of my YouTube channel. I started my channel on 4th of March 2010, and I just uh, stopped the analytics on November 2013. It's just a random date, it doesn't mean anything, but in three years, almost four years, I uploaded a bunch of videos. The most viewed videos was the speed painting concept. 1,800 is just like a stupid, stupid number. I gained beauty like wonderful 18 subscribers, all oh, like skyrocketing to like nothingness. And also like YouTube demonetized my most viewed videos because I was using non-copyrighted music. So actually copyrighted music and I didn't buy the royalty. So it was just kind of idiotic. So. I dropped it, I said, okay, I don't care about YouTube, I'm not gonna do anything else, and for two years I didn't touch my channel. But then, if you move, something happened. So this is an excerpt from the 4th of March 2015 where I changed something uh, to 4th of April. So in a year, a year and a month, I gained 6,000 subscribers and a shitload of likes, comments, and also dislikes, of course. But you can see like the watch time increase and it's constantly increasing and it went to like almost two million minutes of watch time in just a year, which is insane. So what the shit happened there? <laughs> well, I started uploading me like naked, no. Um, <laughs> as I said, um, I'm Italian. So when I moved to Canada four years ago, my English was terrible. Really like I couldn't have a long time like conversation with anyone. And I wanted to be a developer. I was a developer already for many, many years. So. I was getting hired by companies, but I was always getting hired as a junior developer because I didn't have the language skills to tell what, what was in my mind. Like I was really knowledgeable, all the people like above me, my boss, like I knew better than them, not to be like a dick, but I knew better than them and I couldn't express myself. Like how do I tell them that they're doing something wrong? How do I show them? So I wasn't like the best in this. So, I decided to use YouTube to help myself to learn English, especially from a technical term point of view, because I was able to have a regular conversation, but 
I learned coding in Italian with Italian technical terms, which is terrible. So I started using YouTube for myself. This is the first video that I published on the 4th of March 2015 and uh, skyrocketed my fantastic YouTube channel. I've been coding uh, with WordPress for like 10 years almost, so I know everything about WordPress. And I decided to, vi to do videos to tell myself what I already knew about WordPress in Italian, but telling in English. So I was like teaching myself how to code a WordPress site from scratch in English. And surprisingly, people started loving it. So moving on, I started using YouTube as a platform to learn something while sharing my knowledge. And this kind of sounds silly, but it's one of the things that I really noticed. When you start doing something for yourself and you don't do something for, I want to appeal to this audience, I want to be famous, I want to try to have as many views as possible. When you just remove from your brain all the garbage of like, I want to fucking do it, and just start doing things that you really like, your final product is way better than you thought it would be. So that worked. Uh, this is another like same thing. It's like went up and fantastic, just move. And I started uploading a lot of videos. So this is my an, like a screenshot from my channel. I started doing series about how to build a theme. I would be like, uh, if you're a total beginner, you can do this. And reviews about operating systems and speaking at conferences and uh, doing vlogs of me talking about code and people actually liked it. So that was, that was pretty great. And while I was doing the more videos I was publishing, the better I was getting at my job and my daily job. So I was helping myself to be more successful and I, I switched, I changed a bunch of companies. I became like the lead developer and the product manager. And now I'm super confident in doing uh, meetings, talking about coding because I learned with YouTube. So next one. So the growth so far, tap. The first year I gained more than 5,000 subscribers and I got a YouTube partnership program. So when you enter a YouTube partnership program, there's a marketing representative for YouTube that they call you and they start teaching you everything about YouTube, the analytics and stuff, and we're gonna see all this kind of stuff. The second year, I passed 15,000 subscribers and I started getting paid sponsorships. So business and companies were calling me to uh, review their products and uh, uh, just, they were paying me to just say, I don't like this product. Uh, that was fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I'm almost 40,000. Uh, the, thir the third year is gonna switch on the 4th of March of 2018, right now, I'm uh, 39,000 subscribers, so it's going to be 40,000. And I got invited to a conference to talk about this shit. So it's amazing, huh? Okay, next. When you enter a YouTube partnership, they start teaching you all the shenanigans that's behind YouTube. So you cannot just pretend to upload a video, even if your content is fantastic, you cannot just upload it and pretend that you're going to be successful and everyone is going to watch your video. So first you have to write tap. First you have to write uh, good, uh, title and the title you have to kind of trick the search engine that is inside YouTube. So this tutorial series is about um, WordPress for beginner developers. That would be that that was actually the original title, WordPress for beginner developers. But you have to think about the users when they try to find a video on YouTube. They don't search WordPress for beginner developers. They search how do I build a WordPress site from scratch? Or they search like stupid terms that you don't think about it. So you refactor the title trying to trick the search engine of YouTube. Uh, tap. You have to upload a thumbnail. 75% of the traffic that YouTube gets is coming from mobile. So you need a thumbnail, this title that works perfectly on desktop, but have this gigantic logo about WordPress. So even if you're on mobile and you don't have to watch the video, you immediately know what's the topic of my video. Move. You have to write, uh, the first paragraph of your description is something that everyone sees when they watch the video. So you have to summarize the content or the topic of your video in the first paragraph, the first three lines, and that's it. That's it. Switch. You have to share everything. Don't expect to be successful on YouTube if you are not on every social media ever. You have to create link building before between your profiles. You have to create uh, engagement in every social media and then drive traffic to your YouTube channel. Again, you have to write tags and these tags they have to represent everything you write and these tags are good for social shares. Just, again, another one. You have to create playlists because users, they actually, or YouTube, when you watch a video and if the video is part of the playlist, it suggests the next one. And that's a good way to retain your audience and keep watching, watching, watching. And 
Users, they access your website or your YouTube channel and they check your playlist page to see if you actually have like this series has 35 videos in it. So if they watch one video and they like it, let's see if it's an actual ongoing series, if it's organized on YouTube and it looks more professional. Move on. In these past two years, three years or something, I learned the YouTube viral patterns. And these viral patterns are not official YouTube patterns. I define them by seeing how YouTube works. And unfortunately, it works in the shittiest way possible. Like every social media probably works in like a bad way. Um, quantity over quality. The more you publish, the more views you get, the more trending your video could get and all this thing. Next one. Be current, even if you're irrelevant. You need to publish something that reflects the current trend. So the new Justice, Justice League movie comes out, you have to write a, like, do a video about a review of Justice League movie. A new phone comes out, do a video the day before it comes out. Tell your, I don't know, there was the iPhone 10 event, just tell your uh, thoughts about the iPhone event the day before it gets announced. Just even if you're relevant, even if you don't have the phone in your hand, you need to make a video that talks about that in order that when people start searching your video, it's one of the first to come up. Next one, uh, clickbait always wins. If you write a title like, you cannot believe what happens and with like a thumbnail of you like looking scared or like, I found like my girl cheating and in reality she cheated in a way that she organized a nice dinner for you and you didn't know, like all these things, users get engaged in clicking your video. Next one. Bullshit! <laughs> All these things, they work, but they work for like a really small amount of time and users are smart. They understand these patterns even if they're not written anywhere, but they can find and they can understand if you're full of shit. So, next one. Um, analyzing the quantity over quality. If you keep doing, next one, um, if you keep pushing video every day without having a good strategy, without having good content, your audience will stop engaging with you. They will don't care anymore about your channel. Next one. Uh, you will drastically use, lose view in the long run. So if you, uh, and I'm, I'm saying this because I did this experiment, I destroy partially my channel to do this experiment. I lost a lot of views and a lot of subscribers because I wanted to understand if it actually was working. If you start uploading videos per day, you will, for the first week, you will gain a lot of your audience because you change the pattern of your YouTube channel. But then after a while, users will not get engaged anymore by your content because you're always uploading the same stuff and you're not saying anything new. And moving on. You will gain views and probably revenues in the short terms, but you can't stop. As soon as you stop this pattern, everything is gonna go down. Uh, if you start this like spiral of death, you have to stay in and you cannot stop. And it's, it's impossible to, to maintain this pace. So moving on. Uh, be current even if you're relevant. Tap. Uh, it's impossible to keep up with the current speed of news and updates. She was talking about the Instagram updates, like talking about the news, talking about everything that is relevant is not possible. Like you don't have the time to do this. It's, it's insane. Like the speed of technology, the speed of news is just too much. Moving on. Uh, your audience will stop en engaging with you again because you just talk about trendy things. So the new iPhone comes out or the new movie comes out. You do a review after two months no one cares anymore about the movie, no one cares anymore about that, that phone. There's the new phone, it's out, the new technology is out. So your video will stop gaining traffic because it's not trendy anymore. Um, moving on. Uh, the stress will eat you alive, and that's true. Like, so stress. I, uh, before YouTube, I used to have like long hair, I used to be <laughs> skinny and beautiful, and now I'm just like garbage of a person. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, let's update Java, yeah? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, moving on. Uh, clickbait always wins. Tap. Fuck that. This is not true. <laughs> these are the patterns that I found they're working for me. And these patterns work because even if I don't upload a video for more than a month, my statistics keep going up. Like, they don't go down. My audience keeps uh, engaging with me. I keep having comments. And they ask, hey, when are you going to upload the next video? Just come on. Uh, next one. Less is more. Care about the quality. If in this day and age of super fast content, if your content doesn't have 
meaning is not meaningful in a way not even doesn't need even if to look like super produced or super cool that has a, like a level of a company a business with 30 employees that can make a professional video if you have a good quality of your content even if the way you just talk in front of the camera and you say something meaningless that video will keep engaging users over and over again even in a year even in two years uh, moving on engage with your audience always please Please, Jesus, answer your comments. Please, no one does that. But if the user goes the extra mile to write a comment on your channel, you have to answer to it, even if it's just a, a thank you. If it's an insult, you should answer that and you should be like professional, you should be like calm and say, why don't, didn't you like my channel and blah, blah, blah. If you answer also, the user will get a notification and the user will go back to your YouTube video to see the notification to use to see your comment that you answer to yourself. So you keep dragging back user and you keep getting views and clicks on your YouTube videos. Next one. Uh, focus on what you care, not the trends. You cannot follow the trends. I mean, you could, but there's too many. And on the long run, you will lose interest in what you're doing. So you need to find something that you really care about and you can talk for hours. So in my case, I decided to do about development because I do this and I've been doing it for 10 years and plus. So I can talk about development for years and years and never get bored. So I decided to do that. And please chill is like one of the main things like doesn't have to be a stressful experience, doesn't have to be something that I have to be successful in it, I have to do it. You have to have fun in the process and you have to be real. If you're not real, your users will notice that. If you're always hyper excited and constantly, I wouldn't say happy, but constantly like high on cocaine, like your users will notice that. And there's one day you're gonna do a video where you're not 110%, but you're maybe at 80, 90%. And it's gonna look super weird because it's not the real you. You have to be real, you have to be calm, and you have to enjoy everything in the process. Yeah. So what are we gonna do during my workshop? It's all about the strategy and the content about your channel. It's not about technical terms, it's not about uh, all the cool things that you can do with tags and blah blah blah. It's all about the strategy. So we're gonna write a solid and long-term strategy for your channel, and then we're gonna leave uh, the workshop with an easy actionable list of items that you can actually do from tonight or tomorrow to jumpstart your YouTube, your YouTube channel and then we're gonna make stupid jokes because that's that's the core of it that's my life I make stupid jokes for <laughs> living and you can find me online my alicad is my handle pretty much on every social media it's my YouTube channel that's my website uh, thank you so, is there any questions